just to be close satisfied just thinking about it satisfied just singing about it talking about it dreaming about it but I want to tell you right now it's time to move it's time to pay the price and if you don't make a move you're going to frustrate your faith somebody needs to get on your feet right about right now and start moving take a prophetic step Activate your faith. Somebody needs to dance. Somebody needs to dance in your blessing. If you can't walk, stomp your feet. If you can't stomp your feet, wave your arms. But do something and tell somebody, I'm on my way. Come on, give him a shout. Give him a praise. Give him something, hallelujah. Some things that you've been holding on to that you refuse to let go of, amen, tonight it dies. Can I get a witness up in here? It could be an old bad temper. It can be a spirit of anger that keeps holding on to you. But I promise you, if you release it to God, amen, he'll kill it tonight. Anybody believe God can take care of it? My God, amen, tell somebody I'm coming out of that situation. Matter of fact, let me prophesy to about 50 people. Why don't you stand up and take one step right now? Amen, and tell the devil I'm out of it. I'm over it. Come on, it used to master me, but now I'm mastering it. Hallelujah. I wore the wrong shoes. I should have bought my Nikes tonight. I feel like running. Come on, somebody. Touch your neighbor and tell him God is in this house tonight. And whatever you need, he's here to supply. Oh, amen. Nehemiah, the moment you launch vision, you wake up opposition. Come on, somebody. Amen. Where there's a Moses, there's always a Pharaoh. Where there's an Elijah, there's a Jezebel and a Ahab. Where there's a David, there's an old jealous soul. Talk back to me. My God, let me tell you something. And if you've been anointed today, amen, the anointing attracts attack. And just the mere fact that God's got all on your hand. Come on, baby. Some of y'all are under an attack right now. But God sent me here as your little Western Union boy with some certified mail to let you know you're coming out of this one too. Shake somebody's hand like you're going to shake it off and tell them I'm coming out of this one too. Come on, somebody. Because the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they're mighty through God into pulling down strongholds. I would rather be lifted up church no place I would rather be than here in your love here in your love no place I would rather be no place I would rather be no place the thing that I love about this story they threw him in the fire but they weren't affected by the fire and not one time did God take him out of the fire, but he stepped in the fire with him. Who did he send me here to talk to? God is getting ready to step in the fire with you. And the Bible says, amen, that listen, amen, none of their hair, amen, was burned, not even their clothes, y'all ain't saying nothing, and not even the smell of smoke huh, was on them. I don't know who God sent me here to talk to, but you don't look like what you've been through. Huh? You survived the thing that should have killed you and look at you here with your hands lifted in glory and a mouth full of praise where are my praises at tonight shake somebody's hand and tell them I lived through what I should have died in and I can't come and sit up in church and act like I don't know who God is let the redeemed of the Lord say so Come on, come on, come on. Give him your best friend. Come on. Here's the thing, Pastor, that I love. 
Just step out here. Amen. The Bible says it burned the shackles and the chains off of them, but it didn't burn them. Woo! Can I preach, y'all? It melted the metal, but not the man. <laughs> God says, I'm letting you go through the fire, amen, to burn off everything that's had you bound, but you won't be affected by it. Can somebody praise God hey, for the fire that's in your life? Shout yes! Woo. Shake somebody's hand and say, neighbor, I've been through the fire. And it burned the stuff off of me. But it didn't affect me. Lord, have mercy. Somebody give God praise. Ministerial Association Incorporated, in recognition of the call of God, certifies that Reverend Scott Brannon of Bloomington, Indiana, having proven his call of God to the ministry of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ, and having been accepted by the Bethel Ministerial Association Incorporated, became a duly ordained minister of the gospel on the 12th day of April, 2016. scripture says he wrestles with the angel. Y'all know the story. He gets up from wrestling and he ends up walking with a limp because there's no way you can walk with God and wrestle with him and get up the same way. Look at your neighbor and tell him the reason why I praise him the way I praise him. I've had an encounter with God. Oh, who am I preaching to tonight? Shake somebody's hand like you're going to shake it off. That's why some of our praise is different. That's why some of us can't come and sit up in church and fold our arms and cross our legs and act like we don't know who God is. Baby, if you ever had an encounter with God, you will never be the... Come on, I need my preaching crowd here tonight. Anybody here has had an encounter with God? Once you had an encounter, amen, won't nobody have to beg you to praise him. You'll praise him all by yourself. Lift your hands all over this auditorium right now. Come on, just thank God. Thank God for what he's done and what he's doing right now. <laughs> Come on, just drink it in right now. 
Come on, just drink it in. The Bible says, oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Come on, just breathe in the breath of God afresh and anew. <laughs> Come on, just lift up that tongue right now. I wish somebody would just pray in the Holy Ghost right now. Somebody just stir up the gift of God that's within you right now. Come on, lift it up. 